while I'm here, I'm going to run my second last strip down to the end while my ladders are here. You can see I'm started on my first. And you don't want to break the plane at the end of your rafter for your face board. When I'm installing my last strips, I like for the cup to be up. That way if you have to walk on the tin, the edges aren't cutting into the tin and denting it. And it just uh, flattens out better if you use the cup side up. These rafters have been in the weather for a while, and sometimes they'll warp one side or the other. So I'm going to try and straighten them up as much as I can because they're exposed at the bottom from underneath. I'll back this screw out just to let it roll over with this pipe wrench. And so we'll see how close I can get it. It'll look better than what it is. Alright, I got it screwed down. And it's not perfect. But I got it as close as I could. I'd say that's level. And it's about a quarter inch out at the bottom. So, it's not like you're going to see it. I'll go ahead and put this screw back in here. We'll call it good. I didn't know a raccoon was such a picky eater. Coming up on these corners. And what we have to do, since we're using these one by fours, it fill in. The gap at the top, so that your uh, tin doesn't sink down up under the ridge cap. So we have to put that filler in. And then I'll come up under here and go straight across and uh, cut my tin down here on this angle. So this will be the first one that gets a uh, angle cut. Okay, we got our first corner piece in. And then I'm just going to slide this temporary tin. Just keep the rain out. Now I'll make my corner for right now. 